We've never heard a lot about the Philippine war heroes, and uh, it's always been in my heart to tell those stories, just like Francis as well. Uh, when we met, we, we shared that same love to embrace the culture of the Philippines. First time that you guys didn't hear. Uh, this is a story that he's been wanting to do for so long. Uh, same as me, in 2008, I had a book given to me about stories of Filipino heroes. One was Lapa Lapa. And him and I both share the love of the movie Great Park. And I always saw that, um, uh, sorry, I always saw that Lapa Lapa was like the Great Park, the William Wallace. Sorry, sorry, okay. Uh, Great Park, uh, Lapa Lapa was the Great Park of uh, the William Wallace in the Philippines. And through time, you know, we've had Bruce Lee uh, represent um, the Kung Fu culture. We have amazing movies of Samurai and Saving Private Ryan for American war heroes. And people through time have been able to say, yeah, that my grandfather was in that movie. He fought in that war. Or my, you know, my family comes from that Hawaiian heritage or that Samoan heritage or this. And it was a Kung Fu master Samurai. But we've never heard a lot about the Philippines war heroes and uh it's always been in my heart to tell those stories just like francis as well uh, when we met we we shared that same love to embrace the culture of the philippines so that's the reason why i took this on because it was a no-brainer because i've been wanting to do this my entire life i've been advocating for the philippine community since 2000 when i became power ranger um every role i've gotten was start off as a caucasian audition and when i got the role they always forced me to be latino but I always fought to try to be Filipino. And see, now we converted Danny Trejo to be Filipino. So uh, he was wearing a Filipino hat yesterday, so. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, um, you know, they never allowed me to play a Filipino in a movie. I always had to play Latino, which is fine, because I love the Latino culture. This is my brother. But I always wanted to show love to my heritage. My dad, he's a Capitano, so my mom is still from Cavite. And I've never been able to embrace that on a global level. Uh, I'm honored to be 14 on the top 50 list of American celebrity Filipinos on IMDb, right under Leia Salongo and Lou Diamond. Uh, Dante Bosco and I have been advocating with Filipino community artists in, in the America. We used to have group meetings that started at 5 to 10 that led up to about 70 to 80 people, which is how I met Bruno Mars, what brought me to the Philippines the first time when I performed with him at Araneta Coliseum. Since then, it woke my brain up, and I said, wow, I really want to make a future here in the Philippines. So why I'm taking this project on is because from this point on, my wife and I have actually dedicated our next 15, 20 years to doing Filipino movies, doing Filipino stories, embracing my culture, producing and directing movies in the Philippines about Filipino stories. And because I'm proud to be Filipino, and I am proud of my heritage, and I want the entire Filipino community to know that I want you to know I am Filipino, and I'm proud to be Filipino. And from this point on, we want to take the, the stories of the Philippines to the highest global level possible, guys. And that's my vision of, 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 of our company, of the future of what we're doing with Filipino stories. Now, the vision of this movie I will touch on is such an amazing opportunity. I stand behind myself when I actually get to work with an incredible legend like Danny Trail. I've been a I've been a fan of him since my dad and I first watched Con Air. <laughs> I said, Dad, he's so scary. <laughs> I remember watching him in that movie and like just terrified. And now you know when 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 Francis and I were talking and who's Magellan? And I know that back then it was ancient, like the European Spaniards were more Caucasian looking. But for me, when you hear the word Spanish, who do you think of? Danny Trail. Well, I said, Danny Trail is my dude. How about this guy? We had other options coming our way. It's like, we got to figure out how to get Danny Trail. Danny Trail, Danny Trail, Danny Trail. And ladies and gentlemen, Danny Trail. And then my amazing, amazing opportunity, like I said, the, being that my goal is to bridge the gap between 
Hollywood and Philippines. I personally did not know who the amazing Bea Alonzo was until Sir Francis told me Bea Alonzo is a huge stuff. So I started watching her movies and, and, and Googling her. I'm like, wow, she's got more followers. She's got 10 million followers. And she's a huge star. I'm walking in the mall and seeing pictures of her everywhere, like posters. And, but that's the thing, guys. A lot of people here do not know who I am as a Filipino actor. And I didn't know who Marisol Loxa was and Bea Alonzo. And that now is going to end. We are going to bridge the gap between the two cultures of artists from the Philippines and America. So that was so amazing that for me to, to be able to work with such two amazing stars here. And then the incredible supporting cast of my buddy. If you don't know him from Power Rangers and other things like Keeping Up with the Joneses, this guy's an on fire, not just, not just actor, but he's an incredible man and he's an incredible father. And I'm so excited to just have him by my side. When I called him, I didn't even get to finish my sentence. He said yes. <laughs> and I cried and I'm like, I'm so happy for you, bro. This is gonna be such an, an amazing opportunity and role for you because this guy's heart is bigger than anything. His, his beauty that is on the outside, the heart inside of him is just so bigger than what you see on the outside. And you'll get to know that. And my buddy calls this man the Lord. I worked with his brother in Mexico last last year. When I first had my baby, I left two weeks. When he was only two weeks old, I'm in Mexico shooting movie with his brother. And that led me to meeting the amazing Costas Mandela, who from the in, the minute this guy is calling me king and legend, and he's just like, I'm like, no, you're the king, brother. And he is just the most humble, talented, can do a million accents. Just hardworking guy, never complaining, and he just brings it, and he brings the essence of who Lorenzo is. He, he is the he is the art of war. He's the Aries archetype of our movie, and we did that to protect the history of Magellan because Magellan actually, you know, was the explorer. But I didn't. We we did not want anyone to be upset with Magellan on on a high level. Although he was he was doing his vision to make his emperor proud, bring back gold, bring back trade agreements, bring back, um, he was doing his business to take care of his family. So he created the role of Lorenzo to take the heat off of Magellan's character. And Lorenzo could not, I could not see anyone else playing Lorenzo now. It's just so amazing. It was always Costas man, Lord. And again, I called him and before I got to finish my sentence, he said, brother, just, just, just fly me from Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> And he is here. And he brought his buddy Terry as well, who's playing an amazing Spanish soldier. And now I have to give it up for Marisol Larson here because her husband has saved my life with these amazing sugar drops. <laughs> and they have no carbohydrates. And one drop of this will make your coffee taste like sugar. And it's so good. So I was like, I always tease, I said, thank you. Your husband saved my life. Now I can I can have sweets and not get fat. <laughs> But her, her 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 essence is just when we asked and approached her to play the role of Ramani, we needed someone who was going to be the ape, the the wise leader of our beautiful, innocent love of love, love of excitement, Dewata. I told Dewata is like she just loves love. She loves joy, she loves excitement, she loves the ability of dreaming. You know, she, she allows her brain to dream and move and feel every single moment. And that's the beauty and essence of the water's character. But sometimes those type of characters need to be pulled down in reality. <laughs> and in this moment, we have the amazing Marisol Loxa that is coming to bring a balance to the character of the water in this film. And her expertise and her career speaks for itself here in the Philippines. And that's why I was so excited that she agreed to come on board as well.